Live from London, UK, this is Coaching for Excellence. Keep your dream alive with internationally sought-after speaker, the no-nonsense business coach and entrepreneur, Placida Acheru. Join us every first and third Wednesday of the month as we bring you industry experts to empower and transform your world. Learn about entrepreneurs' secrets to success, client attraction, social media, website marketing, and wealth creation strategies, and many more. To increase results, go to www.coachingforexcellence.com. Call in to speak with the host at 1-760-512-7259. Now, here's Lothia. Hello and welcome to Keep Your Dream Alive radio show. I'm, I'm so delighted to be back in, again in this wonderful show. There has been a rise in the number of women-owned businesses with revenues of more than a million dollars. And over the last three to four years, more and more women are starting home-based businesses and creating huge success with it. This week, 8th of March, women worldwide are celebrating International Women's Day and taking it further, taking the celebration to the next level. The Unleashed Women's Network are doing something great with the launch of their Streams to Wealth program. And we are declaring that this month, as a month when members will be educated on how they can begin to create multiple streams of income. My name is Placida Chero, and your host and founder of the Unleashed Women's Network. Today we have a very special guest, and I say very special. He's so busy, and it took me a while to get him on the show. His name is Dwayne Kerr. And Dwayne works with entrepreneurs looking to create a healthy work to lifestyle balance, letting them be more productive and create additional income streams while taking off time. And this is exactly what we are teaching the women in the Unleashed Women's Network to be able to create additional streams of income. So this interview is so timely for the International Women's Day and also the program, the launch of the Streams to Wealth program. Now, over the last six years, Dwayne has helped thousands of entrepreneurs all over the world turn their yearly income into monthly income while doing what they love and is looking for more entrepreneurs who wants to do the same? And Dwayne is on the show with us. Hello, Dwayne, are you there? Hello, Dwayne, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? Oh, yes, fantastic. Hello? Yeah, I can hear you loud and clear. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Now, Dwayne, you have been supporting business owners to turn their yearly income into monthly incomes, and that's amazing. I think everybody wants to do that. If everyone can do that, we'll be in a happy, happy world. There will be no wars and there will be no fighting. <laughs> there will be, no, be no frowning. There will be no divorce. <laughs> so um, you've been doing this for six years now, but before you started doing this, Tell us about Dwayne. How did, who is he? How did he start? Where did he come out from? You know? <laughs> so tell us a little bit about well, yourself. Well, I mean, that's a good question. And firstly, thank you for having me on your show because I've seen some of the work that you're doing. And I know that your listeners are always in for a treat because I've looked back through some of your archives and for all the guys listening, girls and women, everybody who's listening from around the world, what I would recommend is go back and listen to some of the stuff, listen to um, the other interviews that have been done because there is some gold in there. And I can tell you, I have picked up some tips from some of those. And hopefully tonight I'm going to be able to share some powerful things that you can use straight away. Um, so who is the Wayne Well, I'd say I'm most likely a lifelong student. I'm always looking to see how can we do better, how can we do more. And that stems way back from, um, I think it would be a Jamaican philosophy that my dad taught me when we were younger. He was always, for example, he would always say, when, when I was younger, I would drop a, he'd give me a, a can of drink or something and I dropped it, dropped it a few too many times. He didn't get angry. Do you know what he did? He just found a way to how I could actually hold the can at first. He would like squeeze the can when I was younger so I had a grip on it. So that means ultimately it would mean he doesn't need to clean up the mess, but um, he also gave me the confidence in how to do things. And he, is, he does 
done that in many different ways throughout my life, and I just see how I can actually apply it and do the same thing with other people as well. Fantastic. It's it's so, you know, this story is so good to hear because um, I think there are very people who can say father figure influence. You know, most people, it's like their mothers influence them. But here is your dad saying, I'm, I'm by you, I'm supporting you, you can do it. You know, so that's, that's right. very, very good. <laughs> I mean, so my mom definitely support. I mean, I'm, I'm at my mom's right now. I'm using her phone, so <laughs> I mean, I'm just glad that she... Uh, uh, see, you, you know, it was funny. I mean, the other day I was speaking with her, and she, I came because I love coming over. One of the reasons I love coming over because she's going to cook, and I like taking advantage of that. Um, I mean, anybody... See me and my friends, we have this little thing where normally after a certain time we say we don't do business, we just go out and have lunch, we go out, not I mean, have dinner and so on. And I mean, we love eating, having a good time, and as you're going to find that later on, taking lots of time off, and because it all comes down to focus. But one time she prepared some fish, and I was watching, I was eating, and I just felt somebody's watching me, and I, I looked, and she was what my mum was watching, and I was like, Why are you watching? <laughs> and she said, Oh, she's worried about me. I'm choking on a bone. I'm like, oh, I'm, not <laughs> I'm not a baby um, no more. <laughs> <I'm always eating. laughs> mm. So, um, thank you so much for sharing. Now, you're going to be telling us about how we can double, triple, or quadruple our income in 2013, That's working right. only four hours a week from home. I want to hear this, you know. So. Um, and then you're going to be sharing with us how we can create a personal online brand to multiply our income. So do you want to start? Do you want to share with us a bit of how we can do this? How can we create this personal brand online? How can we multiply our income? Because the ladies are listening, and this is our month to create streams of income. So give it to us. <laughs> All right. Oh, definitely. Well, that's what I'm here for. So just see. What I'll say is, um, it firstly. Somebody who thinks that they're an entrepreneur or has that entrepreneur type of mindset is and yeah. they're the right person to, how would I say, take a business forward or take an idea forward as long as it works and suits, um, how would I say, their personality. But the only thing is we start getting caught up in, how would I say, seeing ourselves through our own eyes. And when you see yourself through your own eyes, you start to... Um, you get to see all the faults that you've made in business, and if you haven't made a fault in business, you've done something wrong because you, I mean, if I was to tell you about the stuff I've failed, the business I've lost, and so on, and some people would be surprised, but you have to see how you can learn from it, and when you start looking at yourself through the eyes of how um, others may see you when you're actually out there on stage performing, or when you're um, in a crowd of people, and say, for example, somebody's totally going crazy and you're the person who calms them down. Um, that type of ability, I, re I think that a lot of people do have it, but normally it's the entrepreneur, the person who's um, willing to put, make themselves uncomfortable for that short period of time is the person who's going to be able to, how would I say, do that type of stuff, stand out from the crowd. Yeah. And that's, that's how I, that's how I'd see it. No, it's absolutely true. The thing is, um, I say to business owners, there's no magic in growing a business. You know, it's not just going to become oh, wow. a multi-million dollar business overnight. You've got to walk at it. You've got to love your business, make your business your friend, you know, and enjoy your business. So if you're not enjoying your business, you're not going to give the best in it. You're not going to work with your clients as do their partners because your clients are actually part in partnership with you. Without your clients, there's no yeah. money, you know, so you've got to work in partnership <laughs> with them, treat them well, love them, care for them, and provide all that they need in order to, to have your business growing. So you're right. Um, having a mindset oh, yeah. is really, and, really important. You know, if, I, if I do go off the topic here, please stay back because I, I'm just so excited to be on this call tonight. I mean, I've had a brilliant day today as well, and I'm, I'm just buzzing with information. So if I do go off topic, it's all coming from the heart. I'm just talking from whatever whatever comes to me right now. So if, if you do believe that, gently nudge me back on course. I mean, that's what my assistant no, does. No, definitely. That's I'm not going to let you miss out anything because I have, I have quite a number of people listening 
on the call and you know, so people waiting for the replay, so I'm not going to let you, you know, miss out on anything. Um, okay. <laughs> now, I know you, 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 one of your, your passion is how to turn a book speech product into a 2000 to 25,000 coaching program in 24 hours or less. Can you tell us how we can do that? Yeah, now, that one, <laughs> that, there's actually a brilliant story behind this one, because, how would I say, well, a, a, a lot of people, a lot of, um, I've had the pleasure, I'm, I'm about to name drop right now, I'm, and I'm telling you right now, because normally you see when people name drop, it's like they start doing it, and I'm doing it, and it's going to serve a purpose now. Say, for example, I've had the pleasure of interviewing people like Brian Tracy, John D. Martini, um, Jack Robbins, Minesh Bindi, Harry Singer, and a lot of those top guys in the personal development niche. And there's some people who are who um who have called in and they, they they're probably not um familiar with the personal development niche. It's the whole idea of trying to be the best that you can be and also inspiring others. And even some of those guys, they run into little roadblocks like well, how do I do my next program? How do I create my next product? And one of the things that a lot of the guys do come to me with is that they they've come they come with books and they said here's my book and they say oh you're the guy who's going to market it for me and yes I could do that but then I'm not empowering them as a person so mm-hmm. what I do is I decide to take their book here and turn it into a um it's their guide it's the, it's their map it's their road map and then I turn them into a guide. So say, for example, you go to a new country, and I love going to new countries. I mean, say, for example, um, one of my friends, Mr. Christopher Champagne Bollinger, hopefully um, you're listening, Chris, um, I'm giving you a nice shout-out. Um, we always, For example, when we, we like traveling around Europe, and we get lost. We're our own guys. We like to explore. But not everybody is, um, is like that. A few people, they actually um, prefer to pay someone to actually show them around. So what are we going to do? So you write, you write a book. Your book's about, um, give, me, give me any topic, please. How Let to make one topic. million in one year. How to make one million in okay, one so year. You, so I know there's a lady right, listening so on the show book, who yeah. wants to empower people on how to make one million in one right, year. So, okay, so you wrote a book, How to Make One Million in One Year. Okay? So yeah. you've got the book. Now that book is the map. Anybody can pick that map up. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to also offer them the chance for you to work with them to do it. Because if you've written a book on how to make a million in a year, you must know how to do it. And, or you must not have had results of other people doing it, and you've got your case studies and all those other things, all those other good bits like videos and written testimonials, or, or you've done it for yourself. You fall, you fall into one of those categories. Or you could have interviewed other people who have done it. I mean, I'm trying to cover all the bases here where possible so that no one can say that there's no excuse um, for not being able to do it. So other people have uh, interviewed them. Or um, you've actually guided people through that process. Now, you would just take your book and take each module and then start turning it into... So each, I've already jumped to it. You take each chapter and turn it into a module that you would teach. And you just break it down just that bit more because if I'm showing people, when I'm, I've become a tour guide for cities, I, I, um, I don't have it even lived in. I mean, I've been in some cities for like, sometimes within 12 hours and I know all the cool places already. And what, so but then we start showing other people around. So you're gonna take your book and start showing them around your book and your book is about making a million in a year. Now, that is just the um, top level of how we'd see it. So then the next section is, so you've got your outline, your chapters, which are your modules. The next thing that you need to do, and just let you know, I've just started using my fingers. I remember, I've just remembered to start using my fingers, so I think we're going to be a little bit more focused. Now, you start choosing how, and I'm going to tell you how I'm doing it in a second as well. You start choosing which way or how you're going to actually deliver it to them, whether it's through them coming to meet you, whether it's digitally, through um, the internet, through the phones, or even actually sending out a, a package to them every single week or month with um, tasks that they're supposed to complete. And 
that's the way how I do it because I'm always traveling about. Um, I sometimes take ridiculous amounts of time off. I mean, I even went and got a job because I got bored. And then when I remember, I said, why did I just get a job? I mean, I didn't even know why I did that. But I enjoyed meeting people and having fun. And I volunteer, do all that kind of stuff. So when I'm doing all my volunteering, what do I need to do? I need to make sure that I, my products and services are still delivered. So I normally choose like automated webinars, um, home study courses, and so on. But um, I have a friend, they like to have people come to them. And the next thing is you need to put a price on it. And that's step number three. And I'm going to, I should probably go through the fingers with you right now because so that um so that um it doesn't make so it's not confusing. So first thing what I want everybody to do, yeah, so this is like the involvement part now. So what I want you to do is just take your hands, whether it's your left hand, your right hand, and then and then just make a fist. If you, you can make your fist however, you can turn it to the side, you can turn it upside down as long as you've got a fist. Now the next thing you want to do is stick out your thumb. And your thumb is what we would say we're going to label that certainty. What we and also it's going to be known as your outline. So what you do is you keep them certainty by outlining what you're about to do. So see how I talked about the modules in the book. Sorry, the um chapters in the book. They become your modules. Um even in the book the chapters are the outline if you really do think about it. The second one is if you put your thumb back in, then you just take out your pointing finger. Now, this one is going to be called uncertainty. It's like you're pointing at people. It's always pointing all around and so on. And that one is how do you choose to um, deliver the product to them. So as I said, I always like automated webinars and um, also telephones like what we're doing now. Sometimes I still do meetings here and there, but that's how you do it then. The next one, which we were just about to go into, would be your middle finger. And a lot of people normally associate that with um, swearing, so like when you, like, uh, and so on. But that finger is the biggest finger, and normally biggest finger on your hand for most people. Some people are a little bit weird to have a finger a little bit longer, and I'm teasing you guys right now. Um, but that is going to be significant. So you need to put a price tag on it. You need to, but sometimes you may have a product which is free. And then there's different ways we can do it. But right now, we're going to work with money. The reason why we're going to work with money is because it's easy to count. A dollar is a dollar. A pound is a pound. A euro is a euro. If I tell a joke here, yeah, I'm going to start laughing. <laughs> Whereas other people might not start laughing. So that means you can't really measure it the same way. But let's just keep with things. So you put a price tag on it. So um, that would be um, number three. So number four, that would be your ring finger. Now, that one stands for connection. So how are you going to connect with them? And that comes with the actual delivery of your pro program or your product. And so it actually means you have to put it out there. Um, you have to say that you um, actually do it. Because I know a lot of people, they've written their books. I know a lot of people, they've got the idea. To say, well, let me take a step back. They've got the idea in their head, and they're scared to share it with the world. How are you going to connect with more people if you're scared to share your, your idea? And that goes back even to what I was saying. You look at it through your eyes. It's the thing that you do every day. It's common knowledge to you, but it's not common knowledge to everyone. Uh, so you need to share it. And then the last finger on your hands would be the pinky, the small one, and that one stands for growth. And that's going to be feedback. You're going to let them give you feedback so that you can grow and make it better for them. If you don't do that, um, how are you going to make it better for your customers? It's all about adding value. And that's the best way. They improve on, they let you know what you should improve on. I mean, at the end of all my seminars, I give out feedback forms. Um, I lose some of them. I document some of them. But each seminar always gets better. Every single thing I do gets better. The next call I do gets better. Everything gets better. All my clients say the same thing when they work with me. Everything gets better as it goes along. Why? Because we follow that process. So. Right now, I've just counted um, the five fingers on my hand, and hopefully um, I didn't go over that too fast or I wasn't too excited, and you actually got that. I mean, that's why I recommend re-listening to this because I'm putting dense information into your head. I'm trying to cram it in. Some, some, this will be new to some people, and other people, you may have heard it. If you've already heard it, just suspend your disbelief for right now. Just suspend your thing, I've heard it already, and just understand that, hey, you can also learn something from hearing it from somebody else in a different way and hopefully it will be me because I've had a lot of success helping other people do it but that's the steps for counting the pro um, creating a product on your hands now 
Are you, are you still there? I'm still here. I'm just listening. <laughs> you know, and I'm saying to myself, oh my God, I wish we have more time. I wish we have more time, you know. So um, I'm just going to be quick and I'm going to See, pick I mean, all the important questions. I'm going to pick out the questions I think I the women want to hear, as all the listeners. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, you've done very well with that. Yeah, you've done very well with that. I am going to try and cram as much information into this point in time. And uh, one of the things that one of my mentors taught me is that you can't outgive your audience. So he said, see what happens. Give them the best. Go on. Give them the best stuff. And when you give some people the best stuff, you know what starts happening? A void gets created, and then you create even better stuff, if that makes sense. So it's That's like, true. I will gladly give out my best idea because... Now I'm, my mind starts thinking, hold on a second, I need another best idea. And there's something which is probably percolating in the back of my head already. And as soon as I've um, given the other one out, the next one pops up. So Fantastic. Okay, don't talk anymore. Don't talk anymore. My question, my next question. <laughs> <laughs> um, next question is, and I think, um, how do you use social media to attract high-quality, targeted customers for free? All right. Wow. Good question. <laughs> um, you probably been speaking to my assistant. <laughs> All right. Now, um, one of the things is it comes back to the idea where um, I accidentally started doing this, and it was just that. Everything comes back to another story for some strange reason. Um, I can remember just being on um on Facebook one time, I think it was, or one of the, I think it was that one, and I just started sharing my stuff in a certain way. So, say for example, I'd put, 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 put a status update sometimes about family, next times about things that I'm doing, and it wouldn't be all salesy. It wouldn't be like, oh, come and buy my stuff or. or it wouldn't be like that. It would just be like, hey, this is what I'm working on. Give me some feedback. This is what we're doing. Or literally asking people, hey, I'm looking for people who can do this. Do you know anybody who can do this? So say, for example, one I might do is I'm looking for people who want to grow their business um, or du- double, or triple, double, triple, or quadruple their business in 2013. Do you know anybody who would be interested? And it's not necessarily those people. It could be sometimes those people, and it sometimes is, but they may know somebody who's also interested. It's asking your network. It's letting people know what you're working on and what you're on about. It's like when you go to a party. You don't go to a party and then start shouting, um, uh, oh, um, come and join my business or come and do this or buy this from me straight away. That, that, that doesn't work. When you're at a party, um, whether it's a... Um, an uh, evening party, a sit-down dinner, or even a rave or anything. I don't know what type of party people go to. I know the ones I go to, and I have fun whenever I go out. And you just share, you're a cool person, and then after a while the person may ask you, what do you do? My normal question is, what do you do in real life? And the reason why I say real life is because um, it kind of breaks it up. Because... I'm trying to stay on target because I'm about to go off on a major rant and I'm trying not to go off on a rant. um, I think you've answered that question. I think you've answered that question already. And I want to jump to the next question because I know we've got very little time and I just want to get you to say everything. You have answered that question. The way you've answered it is is okay. No, do you know what it is? Because I'll see what I went with my... um, for, for example, when I was with my dad, I mean, things he would do is he would drive the point home. When I mean drive the point home, there was no possible way that he didn't understand or understood or got an overstanding, yeah. as we would like to say, of what was going yeah. on. You need to drive the point home. You need to tell them, tell them again, and make sure that they understand. And even after that, sometimes you need to tell them again and just drive that point home. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So my next question to you, Dwayne. Mm-hmm. is how do you set up a fully functional online business for less than $100? If you can just give All us right. six easy steps in which we can do that. As you ask, see, now you're asking for three easy steps now. That's a better question because, see, that's mm-hmm. the open-ended. I'm going to go on forever now. See, good, good mm-hmm. thing. Yeah, so in three easy steps now. First things, um, it comes 
down to um, you need to package what you're doing, then you need to um, present it, and then the next step is you need to promote it. So package, how do you go about packaging what you do for $100? So for example, you need um, online, your face is normally a website. Sometimes we like using social media as well because it allows you to get access to, say for example, um, I go into I go to somebody else's party, that's the social media thing, and then I invite people back to my house, which will be my website. So, But I like to have your own website because you're in control. It's like having your own house now. Um, so you'd set up your own house, which would be your website, and that's say, um, if you do it yourself, you have to put a little bit of time in a domain, about um, $10. Hosting for the quarter should be about um, $25 to $30. And then say, for example, you get a good WordPress fleet theme. Now, if you're not sure what a WordPress theme is, don't worry about it. It's just a way how to make your house look good because um, a website is essentially your house. And um, the theme is just like helping you design it. So um, the knowledge that um, Placid has got some brilliant stuff on how to get that stuff sorted out and set up, I mean, seriously. So, so you get a nice theme for about $20. And that's your website sorted. And next thing you want to do is, um, sorry, package, present. So then next thing is you want to start showing it off to people. Now, how do you normally start showing it off to people? You can either use social media and start telling people to get to it, or you can actually start blogging. That's why I should set up a WordPress um, theme. And I love blogging. It's once you once you get the blogging, um, blogging bug, you can't really stop. And... Um, and there are ways by doing that it will naturally start drawing people to your website. And then the next one is you just need to um, promote. And the promote, I'd say, may along the lines of using the paid paid strategies as well, because the reason why you want to use paid strategies is because it allows you to shortcut things. It allows you to do things even quicker. I mean, I love doing the free um, blogging and social media as well. That brings in lots of good quality customers, but it takes a bit of time. If you've got time, then definitely do that and stick it out. Don't just say, I'm going to have my website for a week and then give up. Don't say, I'm going to have my website for a month and give up. You need to be able to blog every day for six months. And some people go, oh, six months, that's a long time. But if you'd started six months ago, you'd be done already. I mean, it's, it's, it's as simple as that. But if you want to do it a little bit quicker, then you start looking in for um, looking in at page strategies. And then, say for example, we already said how you've used ten dollars for your domain, um, another thirty dollars for your um, for the quarter for hosting, and another twenty dollars for um, for the theme. That's to dress the house up. You can actually use that rest of the hundred dollars to actually have paid traffic go to your website, whether it's going to be through Facebook or through Google. You just choose one of them and stick at it. And while you're doing all your blogging, you send some paid traffic so you can get some quick results in while the long-term results are settling in. Fantastic. Now, you mentioned your mentor. Why is getting a mentor so important for success? Oh, wow. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, <laughs> well, the reason for getting a mentor is it allows you to shortcut um, a lot of things. Um, like, for example, if you don't know how to... Well, my first internet mentor was my younger sister. She actually showed me how to um, open a browser, how to use a search engine, and so on. And that was valuable because I didn't know how to do anything like that. And it probably would um, probably taken hours trying to figure that stuff out. And then the next step for me was along the lines of setting up a website. Um, I found a mentor who helped me set up a website and then moved on to the end. Um, instead of taking, like, after trying to do it for about a day or so, or three days trying to go at it, going at it, not making any sense, they told me how to do it in under eight hours. Um, not necessarily everybody would be able to concentrate that time in such a short period of time, but um, you can do that. Mentors allow you to shortcut how would I say, the experience. Um, that's why, I mean, the knowledge of all the world in the books. If somebody wrote a book, yeah, you wrote your book, and you know you've got knowledge that can shortcut somebody's learning in some area, whether it's in health, whether it's making money, whether it's, um, whether it's dating, whether it's, um, uh, there's so many topics, whether it's dog training, whether it's, um, 
I don't know, raising a kid, whether it's relationships, there's so many things. And you've put all your years of experience into that book. All you need to do is get someone to read it. And that's what the mentor does. That's what a mentor is. It's being able to talk. Um, you can, the person also talks you through it at the same time. So getting a mentor is something which is definitely important. And not only that, they can give you live feedback. I mean, it's also seen as coaching in some areas as well. Um, I have a coach when I go to the gym. I have a coach when um, I, I diff in different parts of your life, um, you have different, sometimes you call them different, um, different things like my PA, the person who sorts out all of my um, appointments and so on, she's probably my, she's probably my um, mentor. They're in organizing my schedule. So there's little things like that which you need to start implementing them. Just you pay, pay the price to get them. It makes sense. My, my PA is worth more than, um, than, I think she's worth more than the amount I pay, but hey, she's just happy with that and I found the gem. It's the same thing with, um, it's the same thing with a few of the other things that you can be doing. Yeah, yeah. Tell me about PA. My PA is fantastic too. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's okay. fantastic. I mean, she yeah. really helped me plan my life out. Well, um, mm. you know what, Dwayne? I think we're going to have a part two of this show because there are lots of questions um, that I want to, you know, ask, and and I know you've got a wealth of knowledge. You know, half yeah, an hour is not enough in, for us. Yeah, it's not enough for us. But before I let you go, um, you do have like. Um, like a strategy, strategy call, do you? Where the, oh, right. you yeah, know, the listeners, yeah. if they want to come, you know, how can they reach you? All right, well, definitely. I mean, I do have, um, that is correct. I mean, for example, you be, um, one of the things that we do is we love offering strategy sessions. I can remember, um, for example, I was in, um, I was in Sheffield one, one afternoon. And I decided to bump. I decided to go into a um, to a coffee shop, and I bumped into one of my good friends, Andy, Mr. Bower. And I mean, we we get into some trouble when we're doing things. And one of the things that he said that is being able to take the time and talk with people is one of the most important things. And that's what I love doing as well. I love being able to offer strategy sessions where we can sit down and personalise a game plan for you, a game plan for the year, a game plan for the next month, and see how we can actually improve and make it make um your business better your lifestyle better so what i've done is i've put together normally i charge for the charge about 97 pounds or 97 dollars depending on where i am for a strategy session because i'd like to personally make barriers to my time because you can always make more money but you can't always get more you can't get more time it's the only thing which is um which is the, which you can't get more of as i see so what i've done is instead of charging the Ninety-seven pounds for that. I've been able to because you, um, all the listeners uh, that you've brought on Placida, um, I'm going to be able to do that free of charge. Um, literally complimentary, just because it's free. So what I've done is I've set. I've had my web guy set up a link where it's um we pop over to my website www.askdwaynecur.com um forward slash dream as in keep your dream alive. And that will bypass all of the stuff, and it will get you to an application form. Now, on the application form, what I'd love for, your, for the listeners to do is just fill out some information, like give us your name, your email address, and your Skype if you have one, and just a few questions about why you'd like to participate in a strategy session in this one-off co in this coaching type of session, where we would see if we can actually plan something for you. And the reason for that is I like to cater things directly for the person. Why is that? Because you get better results that way. Different people have different life experiences, um, whereas someone may say, and different niches have slightly different, how would I say, um, elements to them. And you can actually see how you could take advantage of it. So if you don't have a book, you'd have a slightly different plan to somebody who does have a book. If you're already speaking, you'd have a slightly different plan to somebody who's not speaking. And all of them are accessible, but it's just about catering it for your needs. So what I'd say is pop over to um, www.askdwaynecur.com. That's A-S-K-D-W-A-Y-N-E-K-E-R-R.com forward slash dream. And fill out the application form. And one of my, me or one of my team will be in contact with you, and we'll get that strategy session booked in so that we can actually help you move your business your, or even your lifestyle forward. So that's what I've done. 
thank you so, 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 so. I could sing this so, I'll make it so long. <laughs> thank you so much for sharing all the wonderful tips and for being on the show, Dwayne. Um, listeners, if you're out there and you're still listening, for everyone who's going to be coming across the show, Dwayne can be found on all the social media platforms on Facebook as Dwayne Kerr fan page, on Twitter as Dwayne Kerr, as on LinkedIn as Dwayne Kerr, you know, he has taken the name over, so there's no one else. There's no other drinker anywhere else. Just search for him <laughs> and you will <laughs> you will find him and his website is com, and he'll be able to support you and he's also on YouTube. All the links are on the show page and also on our website blog. Thank you so, so much for being on this show. And honestly, I think I have to bring you back because there has to be a part two of this. There has to be mm. two in half an hour is not enough. <laughs> so thank I mean, you. So I know. Much. I mean, trying to fit all of that into one show. I mean, we did a good job. I mean, you've definitely asked some great questions to get some good information out of me. But um, yeah, definitely. I mean, I didn't even I, see. You didn't even give me a chance to tell every, the listeners how my name sounds like a rude a rude word. Come on. <laughs> you, 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 you're good at okay, yeah, you can good do questions. that now. Okay, I give you a chance to do that now. <laughs> We'll, we'll we'll leave that for the next call. <laughs> oh, okay, for the next call. <laughs> well, yes. thank you so some much. Yeah, I'm so delighted like having you. My name does sound like a rude word if you say it quick enough, but I'll, I'll, on the next call, I'll break that down for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Okay, then. Well, thank you so much, and I look forward to having you back on the show. Thank you. Okay, then. All right, thanks for that. All right, cheers. Enjoy your evening, and thank you for having me. All right, cheers. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. And of all the ladies out there listening, um, International Women's Day is this week on the 8th of March. And um, join us, the Women on Leisure Potential fan page and the Women on Leisure Potential um, group on Facebook to find out about our Streams to Wealth program where we are going to be educating the ladies on how to create multiple streams of income, just as Dwayne has told us, you know, and, you know, he might be helping us, you know, you never know. So come and find out what we're doing on how you can begin to create these streams of income because it is possible. Thank you so much for listening. I'll catch you all on the next show. Bye. Bye for now. <laughs>